The Vaal River is the largest tributary of the Orange River in South Africa. And the Rivera on Vaal is perfectly situated to offer the most stunning views and scenery. Steeped in history, this 91-room hotel, a converted farmhouse from the 1800s, is situated on a bend of the scenic Val River. Just an hour's drive from the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg, you are transported into tranquil surroundings that invite one to relax and unwind. As the winter sun set, we were invited to experience one of the special activities that this hotel is very famous for, a leisurely meander down the river. The drop in the mercury didn't deter us one bit as we were promised a delicious meal whilst taking in the beautiful surroundings and company. And the aqua lounge didn't disappoint as we all tucked into some food. What better way to spend an evening than to meander down the river, glass in hand? Okay, the Bonatel Riviera Val. Obviously, the hotel is quite old. It turned 90 years old last year. And uh, yeah, it's been on the current staff since 1920. One of those old hotels that is just, you know, it's one of those magic places you have to go to. In winter, you know, everybody forgets about the Val. It's like the, uh, the, the ugly sister. Everybody wants to go up north to Hadebias for Dam, and this is the place to be. Over the festive season in summer, obviously, it's a, it's a haven for boating. We've got 53 kilometers of navigable water. So it's, it's, it's a boater's heaven. There's enough to do to keep you busy or enough to do so that you don't want to be busy, you can relax. You know, we've got the pool, you can lie there all day, we've got the spa, so you can go and be pampered. If you want to, you can be on the river, do everything on parasailing, to skiing, to wakeboarding, and all those adventure things. You can actually skydive over the Val River even. You can jet ski board, or you can just, you know, there's two golf courses right next to the hotel, go have a bit of round of golf. In the Val itself, there's so many other businesses and sites and things to do. It's such an interesting place, so it's, it's a nice place to explore the Val. In June, we have the Val Wine Route, so for six weeks, they actually have each venue hosts a wine tasting, and you can come and, and just like a wine route would be, go to each venue, taste wine, sample what they have on special at the, that particular venue, and go. Like, we'll have eight wines for you to taste from Lepamia and from Ruben Rothschild and then we're pairing it with North African uh, flatbreads and driven patties and then if you have too much wine tasting obviously you can sleep over and just relax at the hotel. A spectacular blood moon was out as we made our way back to the hotel which sparkles like a beautiful gem in the dark on the river banks. As morning dawned, we were up and ready to explore a lot more. Our travels took us straight to Bloemfontein, Mangawong. This is the capital city of the province of the Free State, and as the judicial capital of the nation, one of South Africa's three national capitals, Bloemfontein is the sixth largest city in South Africa. Bloemfontein was popularly and poetically known as the City of Roses, owing to the abundance of these flowers in spring and summer, and the annual Rose Festival held there. The city's Sasuta name is Mangawung, meaning Place of Cheetahs. Naval Hill is rich with historic relevance and local folklore. There could not have been a better site to put this gigantic statue of Nelson Mandela in a beautiful game reserve as a symbol of his freedom and overlooking a town of historical significance. The National Women's Memorial, the first monument in the world dedicated to women and children, was unveiled on the 16th of December, 1913. One of its famous sculptures is a ball of yarn created from the barbed wire from the concentration camps that kept the women and children, a symbol of women's strength persevering through hardship.
The monument is situated in Monument Avenue in the southern neighborhood Fonisach, Bloemfontein. The monument is on the same grounds as the anglo boer War Museum. The big, open spaces of untamed grassland that surround the terrain of the National Women's Memorial represents the untamed Free State fields and landscape from a bygone time. One of the most significant events in the history of South Africa was the Anglo-Boer War. It started in 1899 and ended in 1902. Although the protagonists were Britain and the two Boer republics, the population of South Africa as a whole became embroiled in the war either directly or indirectly. The monument commemorates the suffering of some 27,000 women and children who died in British concentration camps during this war. Diving in the mud is something racers normally avoid during a competition, but it is part of the course during the Tough Mudder competition. Around 17,000 hardy men and women came together on Saturday in Arnsberg in North Rhine-Westphalia in order to indulge in the dirty contest and race in the more than 16 kilometer long obstacle course. The organizers say Tough Matter is not about winning, but the team spirit, a statement racer Sebastian Wolf could only concur with. Eigentlich die Gemeinschaft. Es ist wirklich so, dieses Team Geist, deswegen ist es ein bisschen schade, dass ich heute allein gelaufen bin. Aber ich hatte nicht das Gefühl, dass ich alleine war. Also es war tatsächlich, auf der Strecke habe ich überall Leute kennengelernt. Man hat sich geholfen, Witze gemacht, angespornt. War sehr gut. This year, the participants had to overcome 20 obstacles, including wooden walls and water barriers. The Tough Mudder obstacle race originated in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. The first such race was held there in 2010. By now, the punishing Mudfest has found a worldwide fan base. In Germany alone, there are three such mud races this year. Yeah, ganz gut. Ja, letztes Jahr war es anstrengender. Dieses Jahr war es. Also, wenn man es einmal mit erlebt hat, war es echt locker. If you've just joined us, unfortunately, you've missed out on an exciting tour of the Free State. But don't worry, because we have so much more after the break.